สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone my name is Maggie and this is another episode of RC Modify in this episode I'm gonna be modifying a Nissan Silvia S15 I got this body from rcmart.com This one is RTR all ready to run So you don't have to worry about buying other parts just to make it work And for the body, it doesn't really matter Because we have this Nissan Silver S15 Now after you got the car, I recommend you to buy the magnet body posts These ones right here And there are four magnets left to attach to the body As you can see the body posts are not tall enough That's why we need these magnets These ones are the same size as these ones So I will stack them up There you go Here are the colors that I will use And I'm gonna smoke the headlights and tail lights If you're gonna use spray paint from time here To make sure you guys know the differences AS is for aircraft models TS is for hard plastic models PS is for Lexan polycarbonate Or clear transparent RC bodies So make sure you use the one for polycarbonate This one will be more flexible And here is the test that I did PS versus TS on clear transparent body As you can see that the PS is much better and there you go Colored glossy vinyl tape half inch by 25 feet Gray, white and black I got masking tape Let's take a look at the optional parts I've got a lot of stickers And so I got these from screenprintdigital.com LED lights Magnets for the doors Hinges And now the glue gun doesn't work very well for holding the hinges As you can see I use glue gun for that that's about to change guys I went out searching for these screws The ones that I'm using are these ones M1.2 by 4mm bolts M1.2 nuts And I also got these ones Self-tapping screws M1.2 by 5mm And I'm gonna put the stereo system on This one is mini speaker this is a mini mp3 player And it's got a um, charger with it You can plug into your laptop, your computer And you will need the micro SD card to store your music And then you will need one of these Servo wire If you don't want to use uh, the player You can use your phone And this bluetooth right here Here's the Bluetooth and this USB will connect to the power source We will need this to connect to it Cut this off and then connect the servo wire to it The camera and the monitor I got this kit from banggood.com This kit right here is basically backup camera uh, kit Hello guys Don't take the camera system seriously for this video Because there are better ones out there and they are made for RC stuff so just take it as basic stuff You know the wiring and stuff I will show you guys better camera system in the next video And you might notice my new intro Yonat.e helped me out with the 3D stuff So go check him out He makes 
cool intros and stuff. Now, in order to power this monitor, I went ahead and bought the 9 volts battery and the case for it and switch for it. I know a lot of you guys want me to do like um, interior engine bay. I will get to that eventually, but um, for this video, it's got a lot of stuff to cover. So for the interior, I'm just gonna try to make the roll cage using the balloon sticks. There you go. Let's cut the body. I use rubbing alcohol to clean up the marker. Cut around the outside, drill a hole, cut to the edges and break it off. Cut around the outside, cut around the inside, cut through and peel it off. Or try to break it off if you can. I thought I would use the spoiler that comes with the body, but I'm gonna use this one instead. I'm gonna cut this off. Next, it's time to figure out how to put the roll cage in there. Cut the mesh. Wash the inside with detergent. Put on the masking stickers. Let's go paint. I'm gonna use alcohol to wipe it off a little bit.
smoke, the headlights, the windows and stuff. Now it's time to put it on the chest. Mounting tape, tape it on the magnets. And so I will put this tape on the magnets just so that the body can come out easier. I don't want this to get scratched and tape it up. Put the mesh on using glue gun. Now I'm going to put on the magnets for the doors. And now I'm gonna start doing the stereo system. Two speakers and an amplifier right here. You can throw these away. For this one, just break it off. This one also, break it off. You can take the screws away. As you can see over here, it looks like it's gonna come off when you pull it. So I'm gonna glue it next to the magnet here. And I will also glue it on the panel here. Glue it right there. This wire is too long, so I'm gonna cut it and reconnect it. Now, this and this will connect. You can go ahead and use electric tape to tape up each of the wires. But for me, I'm gonna use the soldering iron. Here's the soldering iron, the Rosin Core wire solder. The wires are shorter now. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, cut this off and then reconnect.
I have a special tool that will hold the wires for me. Clipping hands clamp. These wires are shorter now. This speaker got short wires, so I'm gonna extend the wires for this speaker. Get the wires that I just cut off, connect to the speaker, and also connect to the other side of the speaker. We got the speakers, the jack, and lastly, the power source. And I have servo wire. Three wires, black is negative, red is positive. And don't worry about the white one. There are two wires from the USB plug. Green will be positive and white will be negative. And there you have it, that will go into the receiver. And let's test it. Now instead of using my phone, I can use this uh, little music player. I'm gonna borrow the small SD card from this car. And now we're gonna test Bluetooth. I got the servo wire that will connect to it, but it is too short, so I'm gonna extend it out. Okay guys, because we have used every single one of them on here already, so I'm gonna use the Y servo wire. This one is the male that will go in here, and there are two females coming out. And there you go. And because we're using a lot of things, we're gonna need a very good battery. I recommend using 7.2 volts, 5000 mAh. And if you buy the one with this female plug, you will need a converter from male to banana connector. Just so that you can use this plug on this car. And now it's time to install these on the body. Here is the roll cage. For the speakers, I'm gonna glue them on the roll cage. Only glue on the magnet, guys. Right now, if I want to use Bluetooth, I have to plug it in Bluetooth. If I want to use MP3, I can plug it in MP3. But now, I'm gonna wire the sound out from this plug to connect to this plug. Here I have extra plug. I'm gonna cut this off and then wire it out from this plug right here so that I can plug into the Bluetooth too. We got three wires on this one. We're gonna combine green and yellow. Here is the jack that we have right now. Here is the new one. I'm gonna connect the red to red and green yellow to the black.
It's time for the camera system. This one is video also, but we're not gonna use it. This one's gonna go to power, and this one is also gonna go to power. I'm gonna put a switch right here. Camera, video, power source, and this will go to the power source. And now it's time for the LED light. Okay, it's time to connect them. This one is blue, but I need the yellow one. There are only two yellows on here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna paint it orange with this transparent color. And because I want to have a red LED, this one is white, so I'm gonna paint it red. Here is the button for changing the LED light. I'm gonna put it right here. It's time for the spoiler. I almost forgot to put the exhaust on right here. I'm only gonna use one of them. I'm gonna come up with a new way to mount an exhaust, which requires exhaust, screws, big one that will fit on the exhaust, and the smaller one. You need aluminum can. I'm gonna fold it many times so that it's stronger. Cut the rest off. Glue it. Flip this up. Cut right there. I'm gonna put it at angle like that. Make a hole over right here. I got many requests for intercooler. And I decided that I would go with this one. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna attach it to the body, cut these off. Use the tube to connect to this. Use screw to mount this on the body. 
use glue gun to glue it. Put screw here and here. And now it's time for the stickers. Well, first of all, I have to use these tapes first. Now it's time for the stickers. It's time to steal the rims from the Supra. Now I told you guys already how to make the camber or stance the car. You just have to adjust this right here. As you can see, it comes out. Now I have to adjust the other way. As you can see, it went in. But that's not my style. And there you have it, adjusting the camber. And I'm also gonna put this, the windshield wipers. I got everything put together and everything works but video transmitter and video receiver are not really good these ones are for backup camera that would sit still in the car that would not have any other signals to interrupt them I bought this set I also bought this camera This one has different signals to choose from. For me, I'm gonna use the first one. So these are video, left speaker, right speaker, power, on off button. That is a small microphone there. These will go into the car. These will go into the remote here. Here's the camera coming out. Here's the power, video, audio. That clock into the transmitter, video, audio, power supply. It will transfer all the signal into this unit, which is gonna have power supply, video, audio, and the receiver will transfer the sound and the video out into the monitor. Take out the old one, here's the new signal and audio is optional you might ask how to plug this into a speaker if you have one of these you can take this out plug this in and there you go you can plug the speaker in here and there you have it i think you guys got it down and now i'm gonna install the new ones there is a big chunk of wires cut here cut here and then reconnect if you don't want to do that you can just keep all these wires 
like that. Okay, I got a cool idea. It would be nice to have all the switches for LED lights, camera, for the speakers and stuff like that. I'm gonna be using these wires for the switches. Okay guys, the camera is very zoomed in, so I'm gonna take this camera off and then put the old camera back in. And now let's work on the remote. I'm gonna use this battery instead. I have this plug that I will use. It is female to banana connector. Cut this off and put several wires or whatever. I got two switches, one for the monitor and another one for the receiver. I need to have a converter from 7.2 volts to 5 volts before I can connect it to this unit because this unit requires 5 volts. Everything is fine unless you reverse it and then quickly move forward. And here is the converter from 7.2 volts to 5 volts. Remember the USB that we cut off from the speaker. The chassis is dragging on the ground. We're gonna harden the suspension with these. One thing that I want to point out is the reverse camera is completely reversed so here's the normal picture and here's the picture that it gives me and so yeah it's reversed. Like I said guys, don't take the video system seriously, just take it as an experiment. I will find the system for RC stuff next video. I hope you enjoy and find it helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. So I think up. Go by my body like